What's good, y'all? It's your guy, Bindu. So, uh, not going to be able to see me today, having issues with my camera. Hopefully, I'll get it up and running soon for Wednesday. But I wanted to cover a couple stories. So, um, as you guys know, the, the, the crazy shit that's going on in um, Israel and, and I'm sorry, in occupied Palestine right now. Richard Medhurst really got me saying that now because that's basically what it is. That's not fucking Israel. That's Palestine. It's occupied Palestine. So, um you guys saw the situation in occupied palestine um the the israeli occupying force is currently bombing the fuck out of gaza right now you know killing women children i think right now the body counts up to like 200 or something like that they even i'm gonna and i'm gonna cover another story about how they um took down one of the associated press um buildings and shit like that and tom cotton but um for now i want to get into this so all the craziness that's going on you know people calling for him to you know do do something do something um this is what biden decides to do biden approved 735 million dollar weapon sale to israel the biden administration has approved 735 million dollars worth of precision guided weapons to be sold to israel a congressional aide confirmed to the hill on monday <clears throat> The sale, which Congress was officially notified of on May 5th, has concerned some House Democrats who have passed the administration, who have pe pressed the administration to limit military support for the Israeli government in the face of its growing assault on Gaza. A majority of of the possible sale of Boeing made joint direct direct attack munitions equipment that can make unguided bombs drop from aircraft into guided missiles, the aide confirmed. The window for Congress to block the sale is for all intents and purposes closed. There are four days left in a 15 day expedited review window and any resolution of this approval has to be in committee for at least 10 days before there can be a vote to bring it to the floor. And even if they did, none of them, none of those pussies, you know, I'm sorry, excuse my language, but I'm just going to be frank. None of those pussies are going to do anything about it. Bernie's not going to do anything about it. AOC's not going to do anything about it. None of the, Elizabeth Warren, none of them are going to do anything about it. And there was this video Max Blumenthal, I think, posted on his Twitter. Um, actually, I'm gonna play, I might play that at the end. I'm going to go find it at the end about um, Bernie. So Bernie was at this town hall and everything, and people started bringing up Israel and the Palestine situation. He was like, oh, shut up, shut up. So Bernie's not going to do anything about it. AOC's not, AOC's not going to do anything about it. The squad's not. None of the progressives are just going to, they're just going to write strongly worded letters about it. Like AOC wrote a letter to Mike Pompeo that went into his um special filing cabinet, which is his fucking trash can. And um, Ilhan Omar likes signing on to Zionist letters to condemn Iran. So none of them are going to do anything. The United States should not stand should not stand idly by while crimes against humanity are being committed with our backing representative ilhan omar one of the first muslim women elected to congress said in a statement but you're not going to do anything because you like to sign on to zionist letters to condemn other muslim countries you fucking piece of shit um it would be appalling for the Biden administration to go through with $735 million in precision and precision guided weaponry to Netanyahu without any strings attached in the wake of escalating violence and attacks on civilians, Omar added, referring to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Net Netanyahu. If this goes through. This will be seen as a green light for continued escalation and will undercut any attempts at brokering a ceasefire. The sale, which was first reported by the Washington Post, was approved five days before Hamas, the militant group that controls the Gaza Strip, began began firing rockets toward Israel in response to Israeli police action at Al-Aqsa Mosque, one of the holiest sites in Islam. So that's one of the things they always talk about, you know, they they bring up is Hamas and shit like that. And I kind you know, at, I, I'm glad that they brought up the fact that this was in response to Israeli brutality against Palestinian civilians, you know, the Hamas responded that way. But what a lot of people don't know is they like to talk about Hamas, this Hamas, that Hamas, Hamas, Hamas. Well, there's WikiLeaks cables. I'm going, to, I'm going to cover that in another video, probably dropping on Wednesday. Um, there's WikiLeaks cables that came out that showed that Israel literally propped up Hamas so they can make the excuse to continue ethnically cleansing the Palestinians off of, you know, out of Israel, what they uh, occupied Palestine. So um, this whole Hamas thing, this is literally, this is the same way how the United States created ISIS and then they turn around and use ISIS as a reasoning for, you know, and, and bombing Syria, trying to overthrow it, blah, 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 whatever. And how like, you know, now Iran is the fucking, um, is, is, is the home base of Al Qaeda now when literally Iran diametrically opposes Al Qaeda, you know, um, in terms of their, 
ideologies. So it's all bullshit. They're just using it to can continue killing civilians, which is what they want to do. They want to kill as many Palestinians as they can and ethnically cleanse the land. So the conflict was also exacerbated by an impending and since postponed Supreme Court hearing on a potential eviction order in a predominantly Palestinian neighborhood in Jerusalem. So you're kicking people off of their lands, off of their land. You're going into their holy site, brutalizing them, and you expect nothing to happen. That's like me coming into your crib. That's like me coming into your crib, taking a shit on your floor, smacking you in the face and expecting you not to hit, hit shoot, do whatever you want to me. It's fucking insane. The rocket fire, which began on May 10th, has been met with Israeli airstrikes that have nearly killed 200 Palestinians, including more than 50 children, and leveled got several Gaza City buildings, including one hit over the weekend that also housed employees for the Associated Press in Al Jazeera. So what nobody's fucking talking about is Israel has fucking nukes. Hamas, the Palestinians, the, the armed people fighting back. They have homemade rockets and homemade weapons and shit like that and bullshit guns and everything. So it's like they're the, the fucking Israeli government is putting the boot on their neck of people <laughs> with subpar weaponry. So a state of the art military funded, supplied by the United States with nukes, all this shit is literally going in and crushing an armed faction who are trying to push them off of their who are trying to push them off of their land and stop them from encroaching even further land that the Israeli government stole that the United Nations allowed them to steal and the United States government continues to allow them to steal. So this whole narrative that they, that they bring forth about Hamas, like I said, just you, you can use the example I brought you or I thought this example, um, that I, tw I, I tweeted out this example to Marianne Williamson. Give me one second to find this joint. Cause she was talking stupid over the weekend. She, uh, Marianne, um, Williamson was, I'm um, saying some imperialist bullshit. This is what happens when you get shit libs out here, man. Give me one second. Let me find this tweet. I put. I tweeted to her because I thought this shit like basically per it perfectly encapsulated. Marianne Williamson said, "Saying um, so I'm doing. I know I'm doing a quick subway." Uh, Marianne Williamson tweeted out. So she deleted it now, but it was about how basically she was saying Israel deserves the right to exist. Da da da. That's how you know she knew she was wrong because she deleted it. And she was, and when people were criticizing her, she was like, that's your opinion. And I respect it. I also get that there are so many settlements that at this point, it will make it very hard to end them. Yet we must, um, what you call bad fucking vibes is someone simply saying that the state of Israel has a right to exist. Okay. They don't not on Palestinian land. They don't. <laughs> and like, as I understand the situation more, I don't think we should have any ethno, you know, states like, you know, eth ethnic, ethnic. Ethno majority states, whatever the fuck that's just called. Anyway, in my personal opinion, like that's the same as like, yo, why can't we have a, you know, an ethno white state or ethno black state? Why should Jewish people have an ethno state? And then on top of that, um, create that state by stealing other people's land. It's bullshit. Um, so I tweeted this out. I said, what if I one day randomly kicked in your door, walked into your home and decided to settle in your living room and the government backed my decision to do so for years? Um, I invited my family who further encroached from room to room until literally only until literally you only had your bathroom and part on um, part of, you know, had your bathroom and part of your kitchen. How would you feel if the government then said, well, at this point, it will make it very hard to end the settlement. You'd be pretty you'd be pretty pissed off enough to shoot a rocket at me. Right. And that's just what it is, man. Nobody wants to look at it that way. And it's, it's, it's crazy that nobody wants to look at it that way because that's what it is. If this was if, ask any of them of the fucking conservatives now talking about that shit presented to them like that they will be ready to shoot somebody with a fucking rocket so i'm just going to go ahead and continue with the article the crisis now in its second week is the worst between the two sides since 2014 and nations across the world have called for an immediate ceasefire and that's another part of the story so joe biden um and kamala harris you know the 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 two stars you know the two people that were supposed to be um um look that that, that was supposed to be better than trump and pence they're currently blocking. There was a, somebody put a tweet about it. Put a tweet out about it that I yeah. like. Here it is. Who is standing in the way of a UN um, um, resolution to demand an, an, an immediate ceasefire between Israel and Hamas? Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, genocide apologist. Apparently, Biden just told Netanyahu he su he supports a ceasefire. However, U.S. has blocked that resolution in the U.N. And even if true, the delay has resulted in the continued murder of children and destruction of property, including residential apartment buildings and press buildings. So that's who, this guy who was supposed to come in and be better than Trump and overturn his policies is worse than Trump in continuing his policies.
But Netanyahu this weekend signaled that Israeli strikes and military um, that that Israel's strikes and military action would not cease immediately. The Biden administration, meanwhile, has maintained that Israel has the right to defend itself um, itself against Hamas, who, like I said, who has homemade rockets. They have bullshit. Like this is it's a bloodbath. It's not. This is like fucking LeBron versus a fucking fifth grader on the basketball court. It's not. It's not an even fight. It's not. And has made no indication that it would curtail or place stipulations on the $3.8 billion in military aid the U.S. government gives to Israel annually. A cohort of progressive Democrats, however, hopes to pressure the administration administration to do just that with legislation um, authored by Representative Betty McCullum that aims to exercise more oversight on how Israel uses the, the assistance. Asked later on Monday about Democratic lawmakers' effort to limit or stipulate money um, aid to Israel, as a way to end violence, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said the administration's role was not to provide motivation for any actions. We want to bring an end to the violence. We want to de-escalate the situation on the ground. The most effective way we feel we can do that is through quiet and intensive diplomacy. This is what our focus is on at this point in time. A State Department spokesperson told The Hill on Monday that the agency is deeply concerned about the current violence and are working towards blah, 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 bullshit, 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 bullshit. We're going to keep letting Alana do this. So this is all bullshit, man. This is Joe Biden. This is Joe Biden facilitating genocide. Um, this is Joe Biden being Donald Trump, worse than Donald Trump. <laughs> and, you know, when it comes down to it, man, the fact like any like if if you if you you know he likes to say he's running he's running to bring the soul or he ran to bring back the soul of the country and shit like that well if you really thought this country had soul the correct thing to do in this situation is stop aid to israel immediately and place sanctions on them and place sanctions on them because they're actually committing genocide against muslims you guys like to point the finger at china and put sanctions on china for you know for for propaganda that you guys are pushing out but you don't want to do it against israel because Israel, with people in the in the unspoken truth about Zionism, is that it's another form of you know white supremacy. That's exactly what it is. You know, people, and I don't like to throw around that word a lot because I feel like that word has been thrown around so much that it's actually lost its meaning and it's lost its um, you know, the effect that it gives when you say it. But that's the, America was built off of white supremacy. America was built off of cleansing this land of of the ethnic people that were here, you know, of the indigenous people here, genociding them and stealing this shit. And Israel's doing the same fucking thing. You have these European white Jews coming from. Uh, um, and, and then on, on top of that, Richard Medhurst brought up a great point. This isn't about, you know, there is there is inklings of Jews versus Muslims in this. But prior to the European Jews living there, Jews, Muslims, Christians have lived there peacefully in harmony for generations, hundreds upon thousands of years prior to that in those areas and shit like that. Now they had their little skirmishes and shit like that, but for the for the most part, those um those religions have lived together in in, in relative peace. Like I and I was told all through my life that oh they're going to be fighting forever. No, they're fighting because of the European element coming into it. Basically, these European white Jews coming in and stealing the ethnic people's land there. They're like um I think it was Max Blumen thought he said it he said this on jimmy Dore's show the people in Pal like palestinians have a direct link to the original christians from that fucking area so this isn't about this isn't about um you know jews versus muslims this is just about human rights this is just exactly they're genociding these people literally killing children women and it's like you know they like to bring up well israel has a right to protect its citizens go down the list literally every time you know these things break out between israel and palestine you know, the, the people that die on the Palestinian side vastly outweigh the people that die on the Israeli side. It's not even fucking close. So it's like, you know, this whole thing, this is a genocide. And if you like history is going to judge the people is going to judge people now that are not, you know, saying anything about this and are standing with Israel. It's it's going to judge them harshly. I hope it does. So but I'm going to go ahead and close this video out here. Um, you know, this. The situation is going to keep going, man. Free Palestine. That's all I got to say. Um, Israel, you know where you can go. You know, you guys can't see me, but I'm not throwing up middle fingers right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to be more tame and lax than this. So, but yeah. So um, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and share, because y'all know YouTube is trying to keep us down. So definitely show love to the max, to the max, to the max. Um, if you're on Odyssey, do the same thing. You guys, I, Odyssey, I've been popping on Odyssey. I haven't been checking my analytics like that. But I've been popping on Odyssey a little bit. So thank you know, thank y'all for showing love on there and everything. You feel me? You feel me? Like I appreciate that shit, honestly, for real, for real. Um, 
And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks.